Hey guys, welcome to episode number one of Simply Lighting. We're gonna be talking lighting in simple terms and with actionable tips about how to make your projects look better. So I'm really excited about this series. Honestly, because in my journey, I realized how frustrating lighting can be. And especially when you feel like your, some, your images look good sometimes, but other times they just look like trash and you don't know why they're looking good when they are and you certainly don't know why they're looking bad. So what I really wanna dive into in this series is for especially those of you in corporate and documentary filmmaking, I wanna give you guys some ideas and tips and practical understandings so that you can get the lighting that you want and it can be predictable and not just feel like this hit or miss thing that is so confusing and so big that you kind of just say it is what it is. I wanna help equip you guys to do your best work for yourself and for your clients. All right, so let's jump in. So I wanna talk with you today about five reasons that I believe lighting could play a really powerful role in your project. All right, so reason one is exposure. Now this is really basic and foundational, but it's important to note at the most rudimentary level, what we're trying to do with lighting is we're getting light onto the sensor so that it can expose the image on the digital media. All right, reason number two is gonna be focus. We can really use light in a powerful way to draw our viewers' eyes to the thing that's important in the scene. A classic example of this is going to be your, your traditional interview setup. The brightest part of the frame is always going to be the talent. They're talking about their subject. Your, the brightest part of the frame is not gonna be this random flower pot in the background. We wanna keep their, the viewer's eyes going towards what's important, and that's gonna be our talent and our story points in that frame. And we use composition and art and different things like that to also draw uh, the viewer's eye, but lighting can play a really powerful role in that as well. All right, number three is gonna be mood and story. I love this. This is one of my favorite aspects of lighting, how we can dramatically change the subtext of a scene to whatever the lighting says. This is all also, of course, played into by the actor's wardrobe, the set um, design and set dressing. There's so many elements that play into this, but lighting does a huge part in setting the tone for a scene and pushing the story forward. So the way that we light a thriller that takes place in a kitchen where two people are fighting and, and, they're, and they're having this dramatic argument, that's going to be lit far differently than a Cheerios commercial that's gonna take place in a family's kitchen. One's gonna have this really harsh light and these deep shadows, whereas the other one is gonna be bright with these big sources that are gonna be really soft and white and, and with this bounce filling in. And it's just gonna be this, this really fun, warm setting. And over here, it's gonna be really dark and moody and intense. That's, it can be the same location, same production design, even the same wardrobe, but by lighting it this way, you're gonna tell the audience what they should be feeling in this moment. And that's super important to telling the story that you're trying to tell or telling the story of your client. All right, number four is creating depth. Now this is really interesting to me to be reminded of the fact that anytime that someone views film or video, it's going to be on a two dimensional viewing platform, whether it's on your phone or your TV screen or your laptop, whatever it is, it's two dimensional. And yet we create the illusion of three dimensional space, which is really, really cool. So whatever we can do to make that obvious that we're in three dimensional space, is really, really powerful. Where lighting becomes really important is that we can sort of over accentuate the 3D aspects of our set and of our scene because the, the audience is not in that 3D space. So what we need to do is we create lighting schemes that separate items out from the background. We light the deep background differently than we do the foreground. We do these different things to really bring to life the fact that this is a three dimensional set and story and even though you're viewing it on a two-dimensional screen. And number five is aesthetics. 
There's something so exciting to me about when we can take a set, a beautifully designed set by your production designer or um, a beautiful actor, actress, or talent, a person who has character in their face, and we can bring out the very best in that set and that person's face and just bring out the richness of the environment and be able to present that to our viewers. And that's just so fun to me. And it's it's there's a lot of very practical ideas and very um, purposeful reasons that we do what we do in lighting. But at the end of the day, that's one of the most fun things for me is to just make a beautiful and enjoyable viewing experience for our audiences. All right, guys, so that is five reasons that lighting could be super important for your next project. I hope this was interesting and helpful. And I understand not every project needs a gaff or not every project needs an extensive lighting package or a lot of time devoted to um, manipulating the lighting environment. But I think lighting should always be considered and we should have a good game plan going into our projects to achieve the best lighting that we can based on the resources that we have. All right, so that is it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really enjoyed making this and hopefully you got some helpful stuff out of it. Episode two, we're gonna be talking about my big eureka moment with lighting, which was motivated light and quality of lights. So we're gonna be talking about that next episode and I think you guys will find it to be really, really helpful. Um, I know I did. So look out for that and we will see you next time. Take care guys.